Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good. I hope everything's fine and uh, check this out. So we are working in our plaza project. Uh, we have made our parametric uh, wall full ceiling. We have made our stairs by profiles and uh, we have made our our wall mounted um, handrail which is sloped and uh, which, which does not have a host right so you know there are separate videos for all of them make sure to check this out I mean how do you make a handrail that is sloped and that does not have a host this, this, these are not stairs these are modern in place components so this cannot be set as, as a host so there are different steps that you have to do and uh, you have to get this result all right look at how beautiful this is it is mounted to the, the, the wall that we have made and in this case it is mounted to the floor uh, you know, for today, we are going to be making a, be a beautiful parametric walkway, right? Let's select all the profiles that uh, I have made. Let's go to create and uh, let's select on that. Let's go to divide surface. Let's uh, click on the surface. Let's change this to, to what? To 50. And uh, let's change this to 5. And let's go to surface representation. Let's activate node surface. Okay, and check this out. So, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, this is what we made within what? Within seconds. This is going to be our walkway. Now, uh, you know, for the profile, we we need uh, two templates of uh, general model adaptive so that is the first one and uh, the second one is going to be generic model adaptive uh, first of all let's press you and let's change this to millimeters let's go to two decimal places let's go to mm okay okay let's grab a point let's paste a point let's go to modify let's select this point let's go to ma make it as adaptive let's go to rectangle let's go to set let's set on this plane and uh, let's try to paste it right here let's go to modify Let's press DI and it's going to be 1 and 2 and 3 and fine and equal and after that let's press um, a line and the line is going to be from this point to this point. Let's lock it and it's going to be DI from this point to this point and fine and uh, another DI is going to be from this point to to this point. Perfect. Let's go to modify. Let's click on that. Uh, let's change this to um, D1 and instance and uh, bring it right hand this is gonna be uh w1 and instance and uh, let's go to our settings so let's set this to to depth is gonna be 500 and this is gonna be uh what 150 mm, and check this out our completely parametric profile is successfully made now we have to load this into our second uh, general model adaptive uh, template right so we have loaded that in now first of all let's paste a point a random point on this plane and uh, <coughs> excuse me let's press cm to bring in that lo component and we have pasted that component and on that point and uh, let's click you know what let's go to back uh, before we paste the point let's go to make it as a adaptive and now let's press cm and this is the profile that we pasted right make sure to paste it on an adaptive one and uh, let's press tab right here these are the values that uh, we have imported with our profile let's go to millimeters let's go to two different places okay okay let's click on uh, tab and uh, let's click on this and uh, let's go to new and uh, this is going to be what uh, d2 instance perfect or perfect and this is going to be new w2 instance and instance and okay and uh, now let's click on this point right here and let's press co co or this one right here and this is going to be uh one and a two and three four uh one two three four five six perfect so six points now let's uh, click on this let's go to that let's go to this and this is completely parametric all right 100 and check this out and uh, you know um I, I kind of have this feeling that our direction may not be right so for example if you go to back to our 3d view and uh, we click on that we can even change the direction of this uh, for example if you go to rotate and uh, rotate it by let's do that again uh, click on that and rotate and rotate by by, by 90 degrees uh, remove constraints and uh, remove constraint that's fine and uh, let's bring this to uh, this point right here okay so let's uh, again load that into our family number seven and it's just going to rotate right so this is the point of that separate template now we're done guys so let's uh, click on this for the finally and uh, let's change the material so the materials already changed okay uh, mahogany and now uh, let's load it into the project and it's going to be project two so override the existing version that's fine and uh, so guys check this out this is a profile right uh, I, I made this before the video so that we could save a little bit time now let's press cm and let's start pasting so let's go to um let's first of all go to header lines 
and uh, let's bring this uh, right here so there are a total of six different points that we would have to paste let's press cm and this is it right uh, let's go to one and uh, a bit to the left oh my god i'm lost so uh, oh my god where is it all right uh, so two right here and uh, three right here and uh, four right here <coughs> excuse me and uh, five right here and uh, six right here and you know uh, um, this is going to be completely parametric and you know you can use the same method and you can make so many there are, there are thousands of different shapes that you're going to make so these are the values that are imported right uh, let's go to that and uh, you know let's make new ones so d3 and uh, w3 uh, for this one so you know these are the ones that got imported right so let's go to new and this is going to be the d333 instance uh, fine and uh, okay and uh, even this one is going to be the new and it's going to be w33 uh, and uh, instance okay let's go to this and uh, let's delete the three and uh, which is going to be delete okay this is from my previous one and it's going to be d3 delete so these are the two parameters that we made and uh, now let's press okay and this is completely parametric check this out so in consistent colors if you go to this and uh, for example 500 let's change this to to what uh, to 800 and uh, check this out so it got to 800 now uh, once the uh, one of the family is repeated you just press the repeat button and check this out guys so our beautiful uh, <laughs> our beautiful walkway is complete uh, you know it says that there are a few problems with this profile that's fine we we'll just go to delete type so three of the planks got deleted that is because of us because you know maybe we have to make a bit of changes with the profile but anyways this is the method of doing it <laughs> excuse me this is the method of making a beautiful parametric walkway all right so this can be a shade it can be a picnic area there are so many different uses to this and uh, now for example if you go to messing inside we turn this off and uh, check this out so look at how beautiful this is okay and you know there are thousands and thousands of possibilities you can do with this so have a good day take care of yourself and uh, bye bye